I'm Witze. And I'm Abdel. Hi, Abdel. Today, we'll show you how to configure auto scaling for Hugging Face Tech Generation inference on Google Kubernetes Engine. We'll follow a tutorial from the Google Cloud Docs. If you want to learn how to deploy TGI first, there's another video on that. Find the link in the description. Hey, Abdel, can you tell me what we're looking at here? Well, I have a Gemma 2 model deployed with TGI on GKE. Here, you're looking at the metrics of the workload. This chart shows the incoming requests, and this one shows the number of TGI containers. I configured GKE to auto-scale my workload based on the TGI queue size. Here, we had a nice spike in traffic, and GKE added more TGI containers to serve all the requests. That's what auto-scaling is all about. Wait, um, that's way too much info all at once. Let's step back and explain what all of that means. Sure. Before I dive into it, let me show you some YAML files. Here, I have my TGI deployment, my horizontal pod autoscaler, and my pod monitoring object. There is one node in my cluster. It's a G2 standard 48 with four GPUs. And there is one TGI pod that requests two GPUs. I configure the horizontal pod autoscaler that automatically adjusts the number of pods. It will add more pods when the existing containers are at capacity and remove them when they are idle. I also configured node auto provisioning to automatically add more nodes when the cluster runs out of capacity. Okay, okay, I get it. You configured a horizontal pod autoscaler and GKE automatically adjusts the number of pods. But how does it know when to add or remove pods? Well, it monitors TGI metrics. Let me show you how. This is the manifest for my autoscaler. I set a target, that's the TGI deployment. And I tell it to monitor the queue size metrics in TGI, targeting an average value of three. That sounds reasonable. So you can configure this auto scaler to look at the queue size metric. And I think that's a great metric to use. Let's dive into the TGI architecture to understand why. So here's a TGI server. Clients send prompts to the generate endpoint and they are processed using the model. And to serve those prompts efficiently, TGI uses continuous batching. That means incoming prompts are first put into a buffer. And the batcher component pulls prompts from that buffer all the time for processing using the mod. And the number of requests in the buffer is exposed as a metric. And that's the one you're using for auto scaling. And I think it's a great metric to use because you will add pods when the buffer size starts to grow. And it's generally safe to remove pods when the buffers are consistently empty. But let's take a step back. How does the auto scaler have access to that metric? Does it call the metrics endpoint? The autoscaler doesn't directly call the endpoint. I configured a pod monitoring resource. I told it to target the CGI deployments and scrape the metrics from port 8000. The pod monitoring resource stores the metrics in cloud monitoring and the autoscaler retrieves them from there. You need to install the custom metrics stack driver adapter to make sure the autoscaler has access to the metrics. To wrap up, we showed you how to set up autoscaling for a text generation inference workload on GKE using queue size as the metric. If you want to do this yourself, find the link to the tutorial in the description. Thanks for watching.